Modern marketing is all about content. Whether people are finding you on your website, social media, or the search engines, you have to be creating quality content if you expect to get found. You mean no one's going to call from that yellow page <laughs> that I just got? No, Jeremy, sorry. But they, I bought the full page. <laughs> In today's world with social media and everybody searching online, we really need to be creating quality content for our customers to find us online to potentially do business with us. And I know it's tough for us because not many of us, I don't think any of us actually wake up in the morning just raring to go to create content. I think it's the uh, scariness of the blank page, right? Mm -hmm. We talk about what we do all day long so naturally. You know, give me a call and I can tell you all of this information. But as soon as I'm forced to put it on paper, it just seems so formal and so scary. Yeah, that's true. And it's also, we overthink the content. So exactly what you just said, that's the language that we use every day, all day. We think people know this stuff. Like for us, with when it comes to SEO and PPC and all these terms, we're used to it. So we think, why am I going to share information about stuff, SEO? Right? Like everybody knows SEO. Yeah. But no, that's not the case. So the stuff and the knowledge that you have in your heads your clients and customers want to know, they're craving to know, and they would love to hear it from you. Yeah, that's a great point, Kate, is that when you sit down, you got to get out of your head in terms of what you know, and what your competitors know, or what you think some other expert knows mm -hmm. that's better than you. Remember, you're writing for your audience. I remember when I was writing my book, The Bootstrapper's Guide to SEO, I was about halfway through the book and I realized I kept worrying about what other SEO people were going to think about what, this, what I said and how I said it. And then I realized that I'm not writing the book for them. I need to use the language and I need to talk in terms that my audience, the people who don't know SEO yet that are trying to learn it are going to understand. And it just completely uh, changed my approach and just sped up the whole process once I made that realization. Absolutely. And then you got the book out and people really loved it. They loved it. And Absolutely. enjoyed it. And it was all for all that worrying was for nothing. Which is awesome. So I know that as business owners, we're always doing the research on our industries. We're always up on the latest podcasts and blogs and we're just consuming all this information. You know a lot of stuff. You have a lot of things that you can really be sharing and producing your own content and having people find you online. So stop getting so caught up in the consuming of all this information and start creating information that your pro that your prospects are really going to enjoy and they're craving and they would be pulling them in to potentially become a client. And if you're afraid that you don't have anything original to say, just remember that there is nothing that is 100% new. It's the information that you have plus the voice that you get to tell it in that's really truly unique. Your customers are doing business with you because they like the way you talk. They like your voice. So don't feel like you've got to only be creating content about something that's never been written about because good luck, that's never going to happen. <laughs> exactly. So we want to hear from you. Is there something that you've been really wanting to share? Maybe you've been really wanting to post blogs on a regular basis, do videos, maybe put up a podcast. What? content do you want to be producing but you're holding yourself back because it's not yet perfect comment below and share we want to know and tell us what your strategy is going to be so we can help hold you accountable